Oxy.
I work from a model of assessment of population affinity. And uh, when I do my affinity work, and I'm totally open to acknowledging that when you add different data to it, that you're going to find some different things. And the, the issue of, uh, and, and, and that doesn't, and so what? You know, it doesn't mean anything uh, because if R1 came back and you can find it amongst some Fulani, some chatic speakers, who, by the way, don't look usually like Fulani, uh, and some Egyptians and some Berbers and some this ones and some that ones, you know, uh, then it's found in different linguistic groups. It's found, uh, and they're all circum-Saharan, remember that, and, uh, and they're all old, and it came back a long time ago. So it's been reworked into different African populations under different social and environmental conditions and bodies. So these bodies are vessels for this lineage. Let us not, again, as I said, confuse gene history with population history. Your genes ancestors may be very different than your ancestors, by which it sounds clever, but what it means, and I, I didn't originate it, uh, it simply means that you may be carrying a gene, you might be, you know, who knows, uh, Stuart might be a descendant of Napoleon or somebody. Uh, uh, he's, he's probably more closely related to me at this moment in time than he is Napoleon, or he might be related, I don't know, pick some Anglo-Saxon king, you know, King Alfred the Great or somebody, you know. So it doesn't deny the genealogical connection, but we have to uh, uh, situa situate it, and we have to contextualize it for it to mean something. Just finding some DNA, as some people are doing, uh, uh, or have uh, in, in some mummies in Egypt, doesn't mean that the Egyptian population came from that place, wherever that place is. You know, if you found some L1, uh, Y chromosome, I mean, mitochondrial DNA, and you know, some M78 or whatever, I mean, Ramses III is bearing E1B1A, Y chromosome lineage, which is an old uh, African uh, lineage in the E. That doesn't mean wherever that lineage originated, that doesn't mean that his daddy came from there or his granddaddy came from there. That stuff was all mixed up in the Sahara and the Nile Valley. And, and you...